It's one state. Let's keep raising Zuo Zhuan. By 770 BCE, the feudalist Zhou dynasty had ruled China for almost three centuries, but wars, natural disasters, and the scandals had undermined its authority. Zhou's vassal states became reckless and disobedient, although none was yet strong enough to replace it. A new order began to emerge. Its pioneer was Duke Huan of Xi. The duke assumed the power in 685 BCE. He transformed the Qi into a powerful force. His prominence ballooned among Zhou vassal states after fending off barbarian invasions of them, resolving interstate conflicts, and quelling a power struggle in the Zhou court. On the battlefield, he overwhelmed insubordinate states. The duke summoned his fellow state heads to a peace convention in 651 BCE, where Suo Zhuan told him as declaring, all who join together with us to swear this covenant will revert to good relations. Imagine saying that to your former rivals who are now beaten and at your back and the call. The Duke realized that acknowledging Zhou's nominal rule might allow him to control the other states, so he recognized it by kneeling publicly to a royal messenger. This type of leadership became known as Ba, meaning hegemony. It helped sustain Zhou's crumbling empire, but it also led to its eventual doom. For soon, everybody was tempted to become a Ba. The duke might not have succeeded without his right-hand man, Guan Zhong. From zero to hero, this man is a political legend. Why don't you join me for his story tomorrow?